In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Now they brought two matches. <laughs> you're like, two matches? Like, I'm off the show. Give me my panties back. <laughs> that show is so weird. The guys are like, well, we got to cuddle at night because we need body heat. <laughs> Get Get your shit off of my back. <laughs> Let the neighbor come over because they ate some nasty rats. And they come over with the shits. <laughs> you say, $200. <laughs> Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you a whole bunch of stuff that I'm adding to my doomsday box. And I actually put this little poll up on all of my social medias. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should follow me there. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I've been prepping for like 20 years now. Slowly, you just gather shit. Some people call that prepping, some people call that hoarders. <laughs> Today, everything in this beautiful YouTube backpack has some additional goodies that I purchased that I would not only take on the show naked and afraid, but I would also keep in case of an emergency. Number one, it is pizza that you cook in this bag. The bag is a steaming bag. It says it is a self, self steaming, fully baked. We're gonna eat good on bug out day, right? Okay, I need to be careful how I tear up this package because um, I need to use it for cooking purposes. Ooh, look. The heating element. Two pouches of pizza. The first step is to remove everything out of the bag. Got it. Second step is to insert both pizza pouches into the bag. Do not open the pouches to heat. Okay, so just like this, put them back in the bag. Why didn't I just leave them in there? Oh, we're just gonna pour it into the fill line. I'm not gonna take out like a measuring cup because in the wilderness, we're not gonna have damn measuring cups. We just gotta eyeball it. How am I gonna know? Here's a tip. How about you make the thing clear or at least the bottom part like clear so I can see in it? That would help me. This says add any type of water. This says add any type of liquid. So if you don't have water, what if you have dirty water? Because they're still in the baggies, you could probably still use it, right? Three to five minutes, it should be a fully steamed meal. The cool thing too is up here, it has like a little you guys see that? Has like a little opening and it says hot steam will come out of that. Take it out. It looks like a heat pack. Put the heat pack in, seal it. Are you supposed to like squish it around or anything? Ooh, I can feel it getting warm. I wonder if it has to get wet. It doesn't say shake it like that. It just, shh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Oh my God, if it blows up, we're in trouble. Look at it. That is really hot. Do not let kids get close to this. I was gonna say, this is a great camping thing. Wherever that heat pack is, which I put it in the front, that shit is hot. Like, ooh. That first part though, that was exciting. I'm gonna have dinner and a show on bug out day. So I can charge extra for the show. I wanna get close so I can smell. Why would you do that? Because that's what I do. Let me see. I'm just afraid it's going to... No? What if I only want to make one pizza? Because we're trying to survive. So everybody's going to get literally an inch. That's it. It's, listen, naked and afraid, what do they eat? Three bugs and a lick of a worm. <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> Ew, have you seen when they take the skin off that snakes? I'd starve to death. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, that show is so weird. The guys are like, <laughs> it's always the guys. The guys are like, well, we got to cuddle at night because we need body heat. <laughs> get, <laughs> get your shit off of my back. Like the body heat, <laughs> freeze to death. 
I didn't come on the show to share body heat. I came on the show to rank up my survival skills because I'm trying to be a 9.0. Okay, so it says carefully open it and remove your pizza. Okay, this one feels warm. This one doesn't. I'm gonna put it back into the microwave. <laughs> put another five minutes on that. Oh no. It's getting hot again. Oh, I just reactivated that. When water touches that pouch, boom. Pizza's in the oven again, baby. It smells delicious. It doesn't look like it heated. It's cold. I know it's fucking bug out day, but we have options right now. You're supposed to put the heat element between the two. Remember I told you I put it in the front? My bad. Can we buy the heat element alone? Do y'all sell that? That would be cool. You know in the beginning of the show where they introduced the folks that are gonna be on? Could you imagine if I was the one that brought the heat pouch? You bring the snake and you peel it and then I'm gonna give you my pouch. <laughs> What? And I'm gonna warm this shit. <laughs> that just took a left turn, but you know what I mean. The, this pouch, this is a business. The heat pouch is a business. Y'all gotta start something separate on the side as an add-on. I'm not impressed with what it's done. Maybe it's not that powerful. I don't know what I'm expecting. So I'm gonna give the self-heating meals pizza three Vivian heads. Number two. Dollar Tree once again comes through. Now sometimes you gotta think outside the box, okay? This is not for crafts. This is for our meds. Tylenol, Tums. You know what I was even thinking about? <laughs> and they're glass. If we have to repopulate the world and restart everything. Seeds. Imagine if you had corn, strawberry seeds, watermelon seeds, zucchini seeds dried and in these little glass containers where they're gonna be preserved beautifully. Look, and they come in all sizes. I was so impressed. For one dollar, hell yeah, all day. Bugs can't get into this, so your shit's gonna be nice and sealed. I was thinking for medicine. You guys, you always have to think outside the box. Let's add some ibuprofen. You could sell these. This is bartering right here. Tell your neighbor. I'm gonna sell you 25 ibuprofen for your cow. <laughs> if you got a headache, that's worth the deal. How cute is this? Oh, these are kind of big, but let's see. Oh, they fit, perfect. You don't think these things are important, but I'm trying to tell you that when you got a stomach ache <laughs> and you need some Tums now, a lifesaver. Let the neighbor come over because they ate some nasty rats. That's all they had to eat. And they come over with the shits. <laughs> you say, $200. <laughs> and they said, no, you're crazy. You're price gouging me. You're gonna say, come talk to me. <laughs> I'm telling you guys how to barter here. You say, all right, you're right. Come back to me when that cramp kicks in again. <laughs> Tell me this is not a good idea. All your vitamins. I'm going to go buy more and I'm going to include them in my bug out bag. Because bugs can't get in here. That's something you guys told me in my last video. Bugs can get in there. Rats can dig through because it was a bag. Glass? No ma'am. Sealed. So I'm going to give the little glass crafting containers five Vivian heads. Number three. You know what this is? It's a flashlight. Not any flashlight though. You guys know I don't buy nothing basic. I mean, this is pretty basic. So you think. It's from Dollar Tree, so it cost me a dollar, but guess what it is? It is paper thin <laughs> flashlight. Not only is it paper thin, it has a magnet. It is portable. I wanna know if I can roll it up. Tell me I can't. It's like squishy on a cruise. <laughs> Bug out day. See, we like things that are thin and compact because we gotta pack a lot of shit in and lightweight. If we were on the show on Negative and Afraid and somebody brought this, would you be pissed? <laughs> One time I was watching and the lady brought a pot. <laughs> she didn't even bring like a nonstick blue diamond pan. No. <laughs> she brought one of those little 
camping cup pots that you cook soup and everything it's like four ounces she brought that and she was so happy and i'm like it's over you're in for two hours take your ass back to north carolina because that ain't gonna work in the wilderness big old anacondas this bitch brought a cup <laughs> And for a dollar, guess what? You get the battery too. You've probably seen these at Dollar Tree and thought, that's silly, but it's not. In an emergency, paper, not paper thin, but just a little a pouch thin. <laughs> I'm gonna say about five sheets of paper thin. <laughs> Maybe 10 sheets of paper. That's still pretty good. You can hide it in a million different places. It's not gonna take up a lot of room. Now let's test to see how bright it is. Get the hell out of here. I need a six pack of these. Can we buy in bulk from Dollar Tree? I think we can on their website. That's not genius to you? Let the neighbor come over on bug out day. And they're like, listen, do you want to barter? Do you have those heat steamed pizzas? I'm gonna trade you for a flashlight. I'm saying no, I need a flashlight and I need some chickens. I'm gonna go into a scary dark closet so you guys can see how bright it is. Cause it is very bright. Ready? You see it? Yes, look. Tell me that's not good. For one dollar with the battery. Look how thin that is. Impressed, aren't you? This might be product of the NAM video. Your kids are scared. Leave one of these in their room. You get a flat tire, signal like that. Morris code, what is that called? I always say it wrong. I say everything wrong. <laughs> the other day somebody said, Vivian, are you saying vegetables? <laughs> yeah, do you know English? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you correcting me? I'm an English teacher. What is wrong with you? <laughs> like, <laughs> more is more in more Morgan codes. I don't know. You know what I mean? The little code like this. SOS. I'm not cutting mine open. Y'all can cut y'all's open, but somewhere in here, there's a little baby battery that we might be able to change because it says batteries included. Best investment of the video so far. $1. So I'm going to give the Dollar Tree Thin Flashlight 10, 5 Vivian heads. Number four. What else did I have? Ooh, emergency stove. I'm going to say you're going to live real comfortably in bug out day. You got yourself a little stove and your little baby pan. See how compact all this is? Everybody can carry their own little setup. It literally comes like in the size of a box. It is light, strong, compact. No liquid, no priming, no wick, no pressure. And it also says pan not included. <laughs> dum dum. <gasps> what? That's a stove. It also includes 24 fuel tablets. So how does it activate if there's no wick or no? <gasps> That's the stove, look. Oh no, I need a bigger pan than this mini one. I need a big regular size pan. These are the uh, activating fuel tablets, 24 of them. It says you can even do this. It locks into, are you serious right now? It locks into like different positions, it said. Right there, that's what I need. Are you in my crew? Okay, you're in. Put your name on the list. One tablet will burn nine minutes. Burning multiple tablets will increase the heat and decrease cooking time. How do I turn it on though? You're not giving me instructions. The, 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 the. I need instructions on how to turn this thing on because I'm scared. I only want to use one, okay? Because we don't need a lot. I just want to put one in the middle. I love this. When I say things are compact, lightweight, and cheap, that means everybody gets one in their backpack, not just the leader. Should I just sell the backpacks now? Because <laughs> that's big business at this point. Each one will burn for nine minutes. So if you're making a roast, a turkey, <laughs> they're nice and sparkly, they look like a rock. Put it in the center. You wanna be in a very well ventilated area, I think. I kinda wanna put like a plate underneath it or something, huh? Cause this is wood and we're in a studio. We're not outside. Like that. I don't know if that's any smarter, but I feel like the plate can handle heat more than the table, right? Smart. Fire extinguisher. Can one tablet cook one egg? Babe, can you bring me an egg? What's these eggs? <laughs> you see the shit I gotta deal with? Yeah, thank you very much. 
stay there in case I need to execute this thing. Jedi, get out of my way in case I gotta make a run for it. <laughs> okay, so I had to stop filming for a second because my battery was full. So we're back. Refreshed and ready to light this bitch on fire. It didn't give me instructions on how to light this. You don't know either? You're not part of the crew. There we go, there we go, it's lighting on fire. That's pretty impressive, huh? I don't know if any of this is smart, but I'm glad I only did one little tablet too. And I'm also inhaling a lot. I don't think you're supposed to be breathing that in. Just crack the damn egg, Vivian. I'm glad I only put, I'm glad a lot of things. Pretty impressed. I don't think I'm supposed to be inhaling that. Another thing that I don't know, this pan was supposed to be meant to use over a straight up flame. Let's check the bottom. <laughs> Is it melting? No. Are you impressed? Look at this. One tablet is gonna cook a whole damn buffet at my house. I wanna flip the egg. Girl, my shit's burnt. Sorry about it. Oh yeah, we're about to flip this motherfucker right here. No, we're not. It's too ooey gooey. So you guys already know I can't do this, but we're gonna try. Look at that flame. That's pretty impressive. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I am a master chef. Put me on chopped. Is that the show? 24 tablets. That's 24 days in the jungles of Brazil. <laughs> Where did they send them? You like your eggs well done? <laughs> they're, they're rubber now. <laughs> you want this or do you want a worm? Pick. This is still better than a fucking worm. <laughs> if we can get this Vivian tries to 7,000 likes, then I'm gonna do a part two because that backpack is still full of stuff. So I'm gonna give the emergency stove five Vivian heads. This one, hands down, should be the first thing on the list. Number five. I got this at Kohl's. Kohl's is expensive. Y'all like Kohl's? This is a cooler sling. Close your eyes, let me set the scene. We're walking through the jungles of Brazil and the dumbass that brought the pot thinks she's about to get some of your fresh squeezed orange juice and you're like, no ma'am, you brought the pot, you boil your water, that's what you're drinking. I bought this little sling thing and I got my soda pop in there. Or my fresh squeezed orange juice because vitamin C is very important. It is a cooler that you carry around like a crossbody purse. <laughs> Great for Disney World, all kinds of stuff. Dude, could you imagine going to the beach? This is a good side business. <laughs> I'm gonna make a business out of this. Walking around Disney World, being like, do y'all want a soda pop? $3 is better than the $27 that they sell you some shit for up there. <gasps> Look at it. Do you love it? I had never seen this before, but I thought it is 100% going into Doomsday Bag. And then, once you zip it up, you can gotta reopen it. You just boom, pull out a soda pop from right there. So all you do is put six cans in here. The lake, the beach, it's tight, but there's six in there, look. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then you zip it up, bam. Tell me you don't love, this was totally worth the 25, that wasn't worth $25. I, they overcharged me, <laughs> and then boom. I'm telling you, I picked up some of the most genius products for this video. You know what this is good for? That show too, Naked and Afraid. If somebody came with a sling with six soda pops, I'll be like, you're in, bud. But I'm telling you, if you came to Naked and Afraid, <laughs> where they brought fire, we're good. If now they brought two matches, <laughs> you're like, two matches? Like, I'm off the show, give me my panties back. I'm leaving. <laughs> so. I'm gonna give the most genius idea I've ever seen five. Viv no, I can't give it five because it's too expensive. I'm gonna give it four. Vivian has number six. Next. This might be like 20 years old. I don't think so because it has a USB connector to it. I don't think I've seen this anywhere but Dollar Tree. This is an emergency USB charger used with batteries. Have you seen this before? Like you put two batteries and then you charge your damn phone. You're converting these batteries into a USB charger. Look at this. Plug that shit in like this. Boom. Phone charger. It says over one hour of emergency talk time on most cell phones. Dollar Tree has some little gems over there. Look at this. Boom. One battery, two double A's. You're in business. 
get back on TikTok. I already warned you guys to delete that damn app. I don't have to tell you why, just Google it. Get excited, get excited, ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> For one dollar, I'm telling you, get everybody in the family. For Christmas, everybody in the family gets one of the emergency things with a six pack of batteries. They'll thank you on bug out day. They're not gonna thank you now. They're gonna be like, what the hell? So I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree emergency charging little gadget thing five Vivian heads. Number seven. They are safety glasses or like little goggle things to protect your eyeballs. Do you guys remember? I have it all documented. Check back to when I started telling y'all to start wearing and collecting face masks. Check the dates. I've been telling y'all for years. A few months back when this whole fungalitis thing started, right? When did it start? Like February or March? Check my videos. In my head, I'm thinking, something over your face is better than nothing over your face. When I did that Japanese dollar store one where I told you guys, wear a mask. Even if it does nothing, just wear a mask. I said it in the video and I'm not a conspiracy theorist. That's a lie. I love a good conspiracy, but can I say that word? I might have to bleep that word out because YouTube don't like that. A few months after the fungalitis started, the government then said, okay, go ahead and wear that mask. That might be a good idea. <laughs> a few weeks after that, they're like, no, you have to wear a fucking mask. So for everybody who purchased the fungalitis mask, <laughs> thank you very much. And what I think is coming next, and this is just a prediction, check the date. Mark the time. I think they're gonna tell us next to protect our eyeballs. That's why I picked this up. A dollar at Dollar Tree, you guys. Can't go wrong. Even if they tell us no, you got some goggles for the garage. Changing oil, boom. Mowing the yard, boom. Put these on. So it's not gonna be money wasted. And some people are already onto this. Have you seen those like clear shields people are wearing over their face? You're smart. I got this. I don't want to wear a whole shield. I feel kind of silly, but I'll wear these. And I don't even like them like this, so we're gonna be dazzle them because we're cute. They just need a little bit of bling and we're good. The reason I like it because it covers like your whole eyeball. Nothing can get in. No fungalitis, nothing. So your eyes are protected, your nose and your mouth are protected with your mask. Remember rule number one is keeping it sexy at all times. So that's what we're gonna do. Dollar Tree. They are stepping up their game in their craft section. You guys know I always brag about Dollar Tree's birthday aisle bomb now they're stepping up their game in the craft world move over hobby lobby we don't like you anyway listen we're gonna go and follow the rules and be like i'll wear my fucking mask i will only wear vivian's mask though because that's the cutest not only that um your damn goggles are looking cute and you don't have to do a lot okay i just want it to be simple i could sell these at nordstrom rack for sure somebody call them for me that took me a whole three minutes to do let me see, tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Fashion Nova, call me. I'm gonna sell you these cute ass goggles. I think I just started another business. Vivian's goggles for bugoutday.com. Let me know if you want a pair in the comments down below. <gasps> Look at the sides. So I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree safety glasses five Vivian heads because they're actually not bad. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>